have to say, if I were Don Jr., if I were Kai Trump, his daughter who spoke last night, I just, the level of anxiety would be up, right? Like, we can't have random shooters targeting politicians, their families. It's just a new world if that's where we're going. It, you know, I've heard a lot of people who were around back in 1968 say that it was a very dark time. Of course, we had RFK, we had JFK, we had MLK murdered within the span of a few years. Nobody wants to see a return to that, and but without accountability, and like a true sunlight being the disinfectant, people are going to worry. Kim Cheadle was here at the RNC last night. She was. Director of the Sur- Secret Service. In an extraordinary moment, you had a bunch of U.S. senators. Don Jr. mentioned interviewing Marsha Blackburn, John Barrasso of Wyoming as well, chasing her down, demanding more answers. They were only allowed to ask four questions of her yesterday. Uh, we've got a little bit of the table. We'll watch it, and then I'd love to know you about what your thoughts are on her. John and I will start answering our questions right now about the death threat to President Trump and allowing him to go on stage with him within allowing him to go on stage. Can you give us an explanation? Why would anyone allow the President to go on stage when you know that you've got a potential threat and you've got snipers that are trying to uh, Why? I don't think that this is a problem at all. Well, well, No, we're going with you. Oh, so you you owe nothing. They're following you owe her. You cannot from us. Picking up the, the pace. <laughs> and then the Secret Service ferrets her away like she's the president so that these U.S. senators cannot question her. So... Let me let me expound on a, a larger level, then we're going to get back to, to Kim Cheadle. We have a real issue in the agencies of our government. You have the men and women that do the work every single day. Um, in the Secret Service, you have President Trump's core detail. They've been with him for years. Those those guys, they love him. They will they literally will throw their bodies into harm's way and, and, and into harm's way to protect him. And throughout our government, you know, a lot of our agencies, you have good, decent people who want to do the right thing. They want to do the job that they were hired to do and serve the people of this country. And then you see footage like that, where you have the political brass of these agencies who are more concerned with covering up, they're more concerned with with protecting themselves, and they do not want to be forthcoming with the critical information necessary in such a monumental situation like what happened uh, Saturday in Pennsylvania. In, In my view, the response from Secret Service from the political brass should have been immediate details to members of Congress with the appropriate security clearances, uh, legislative leadership in both chambers, and of course members of the Intelligence Committee to go through the ti- the, the timeline of, of chain of command, decision making, uh, from the day that rally started up until the time of the shooting on that stage. Then that's where you can have true accountability. How are they getting away with not doing that? Because the Joe Biden administration this is how they handle every crisis situation. They ignore Congress. They slow walk. There is no accountability. Donald Trump said it in the debate uh, back in Atlanta. How come nobody's been fired? You've had debacle after debacle after debacle, but everybody keeps their job. You know that is not the truth, and that's not accurate. It is wrong because what they're doing is covering up for their own incompetence as opposed to being truly held accountable. She's lying. The yes. thing about the sloped roof... Does anybody believe we didn't put Secret Service on the roof where the shooter wound up because it has a slope? Many of my colleagues who have served downrange, they've they've been in the battlefield. They've all said very quietly, um, Corey Mills out of Florida has been very open about this. Anybody doing a secure, a sec, trying to secure a location, rooftops are some of the primary things you want to make sure you have control of. I'm not a military man. I've not done security security work. But like you said earlier, this is common sense stuff. The, guy, the sharpshooters who were there were on roofs that were more sloped than that one. Exactly. So it just doesn't, I mean, that's... It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. There is a failure here. And instead of running... I mean, Listen, Marsha Blackburn, God bless her, she is tough. Yeah. She's a one tough customer. But Marsha's all a five foot two. What are you doing running from her? You can't stand there and have a conversation with a United States senator who has serious concerns about the security apparatus around President Donald Trump. That's obscene to me. And look, I don't know what's going on with Joe Biden, and we'll probably get to that. But it's incumbent upon the White House 
to make sure that they take control of this investigation and not just slink into the background like they are amped to, like they want to do too often because these are serious answers that are not political. This is about the very fabric of our republic moving forward because presidents have to be protected. Their families have to be protected. And if they're not, it's not just, with all due respect, not just about their lives. It's about our country. That's exactly right. We'd be in a totally different place right now if President Trump's life had been taken on national television. Yes. So uh, it, it's been totally dissatisfactory. And every day we learn that they had their, this guy in their sights for far longer than we knew without adequate answers. And Kim Cheadle literally now on the run, treating herself like she's a president behind the protection of Secret Service to get away from U.S. senators who represent us. They're, you know, you guys all represent us. That's right. That's who's trying to get answers. It's very frustrating. Okay. If you are not following the news, you may have missed it, but a massive hit to the U.S. dollar just came in June when Saudi Arabia did not renew its 50-year petrodollar deal with the U.S. Since 1974, Saudi Arabia has sold oil exclusively in U.S. dollars, and that was huge to our global economic dominance. Now they want options other than the dollar. So ask yourself, if there's less demand for the dollar, what happens next? Look, it's reasons like this that Americans are looking at Birch Gold Group. For over 20 years, Birch Gold has helped tens of thousands of Americans protect their savings by converting an IRA or 401k into an IRA into physical gold. To learn more, text the word MK to 989898 and claim your free, no obligation info kit on gold. That's MK to the number 989898. Birch Gold has earned the trust of so many with their education first approach. There are thousands of happy customers and so many five-star reviews. Consider protecting your savings with gold before the dollar plunges any further. Text MK to 989898 today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.